And it's a very warm welcome to Triabunna Oval. It's known as the Giffard Oval up here in Triabunna for this big clash here between Triabunna Under Nines and the Clarence Joeys Under Nines. I'm Martin Duffy, joined by the head commentator of Duff TV, Andrew Hopwood. Thanks for coming up today, Andrew. Oh, it's been a beautiful drive, uh, Martin. In fact, uh, we just broke the trip up. We stopped off at Red Bank, stretched our legs, got a bit of archery underway, a bit of a swim, paddle in the lake. Uh, it was fantastic to drop in and see Lindsay. Uh, we then knitted some nourishment duff, so we got a subway, and that was absolutely magnificent food, isn't it? I had the foot long. I know you love your uh, wheat germ bread, and uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic thing there. And the last thing we did, Duff, was as we're coming through Orford on our way to try a bunner, yeah. we just stopped and got a few groceries in there at IGA Orford, and what a selection they have here uh, in that, the East Coast community as we made our way to the Giffard Oval for the big clash that everyone's been talking about, try a bunner v your Clarence Joeys. And the ball has been bounced and they're under away. Uh, a good sized kiddies out there as well, Martin. Yep, some strapping lads for this big clash here today, Andrew. Sorry, I'm just downing a, um, a subway at the moment and a plethora of kiddies running around you got your boys and your girl combo as taking that key free kick is Lumley Lumley for try bunner sends it forward running out is Skeggs that name Skeggs is very synonymous uh, with the east coast of Tasmania bounces once comes back in and the Joeys come away with it they did well there uh, by number in comes uh, Whiteman. Whiteman tries to go back around. Does a very nice job. I like the way he tries to uh, bring his teammates into it as it gets across to Pickett. Pickett can't go, but uh, Kobe Johnson picks up. Big lad in the ruck, Duff. Nice size about him. Yeah, no, he's got a big, big frame about him. And he's very quick with his hands. He's already had a couple of handballs out. Just trying to get the ball moving here for the Mighty Roos. Who are you going for today? Oh, just known, known for his selfless acts. Mm. There's no doubt about that. Who are you going for today? As a former Clarence player, who are you going for? You must be going for the Roos. Oh, well, uh, the Roos are a big chance to win today. It depends on which Roo it is, Duff. Well, I think... You've got, you got your Roo from Tri and you've got your Roo from Clarence. Mm. But let's have a look at them now. And, uh, and of course, it is the traditional uh, uh, maroon and white as Clarence have to try a shot on goal as Katie Edwards comes back. She circle around. She's the consummate defender. And she's going to take a free kick to relieve some of that uh, high-intensity pressure that is being apply applied by uh, the visitors, the Joeys. Goes out towards the half-back flank. Running around now nicely was Guy. Guy can't pick it up. Intercepted. Well worked on the ball. Well done by another one by Whiteman. Fantastic work by them. Look at them just coming in nicely. Not coming out quickly. Nice tackle. And that's been an early feature so far, Duff, is the tackling, the preparedness to get their head over the ball. Yeah, uh, both coaches we know uh, played it pretty hard. Coach Scott and Johnson, that's the way they played and that's the way they get their kiddies going in for the ball. Yep, and look at the little number four there for Tribona. Billy Whitehead with the headband there. He's, st he's a standout, isn't he there, Hoppy? You've seen him. Oh, yes, and uh, that was Mitchell Scott. Scott goes forward, but uh, inadvertently can't find the target. So the Joeys will repel, taking the blinkers off and uh, trying to go across to spread that one out. And that is as strong a mark as you ever want to see, Duff. Yes. Uh, who's that young lady there? That could be either Emma or young Kate playing there for the opposition just in this quarter. OK, well, there was Kate. Uh, I think so. It's not Kate, because Kate's still playing for Tri Bunner. OK, must be Emma Hitchcock there. Yes, well played, Martin. Nice work indeed as KB Johnson is his size. Gets it out to Joel Pickett. Pickett goes, uh, takes the blinkers off and goes across field, trying to find his teammate to open it up in Smith. Just couldn't quite get the handle on it. And the umpire says, let's have a look. He's trying to rake it out. And he says, we are going to ball that one up. Who's the umpire here today? You, do you know this gentleman at all, Andrew? Um, I think that's... Um, not sure, I think, but he's nice. His nickname's Bluey. Bluey, yep. Goes well, Bluey. Yep. So, back in towards the centre. Johnson really trying to uh, push their way forward. Might have been held with uh, a little bit high on the onion, and uh, it's going to be Lumley. And you'd be very, very happy with uh, Lumley's toop there, Duff, wouldn't you? With oh. that uh, 
A little bit of a rat's tail just going down tail. the back of the jersey. Yeah, there's little Mitchell Scott's taking a strong mark down there. Oh, oh talking of... Building beautifully. Look at that big strong mark by Skeggs. Uh, Jonathan Brown S came out with the barrel chest and says, I'm duking it up. And he's taken that one. And uh, now it is the Joeys trying to get it out. But a very nice tackle applied there by Whitaker. Really doing uh, forward pressure. Hitchcock of the Emma variety uh, keeps that pressure on. Nice she's done a look. nice job there, and uh, she's got a bit of speed about her, Duff. Yeah, I tell Have you. a look at the long legs uh, going long fast socks. for the ball. She's got the long socks on today. It was very cold up here at uh, Tribana. Oh, but the sun's coming out. Uh, it's a beautiful part of the world to come in, uh, to watch and play your footy, isn't it? Well, especially as you come up over the hills over Red Banks there. It's just God's country. And just look at us from the tower here, Duff, as we look out at Mariah Island there and just, just glance out the side window there. You get a look at the Euphrationae mm. and uh, back down towards the south. Absolutely picture postcard perfect up here at your try bunner as umpire bluey decides to let that game roll as your joeys pick it up great speed uh, just getting a foot onto the ball five minutes gone as we check the jmc uh, motor car company scoreboard it is your try bunner zero 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 your clarence joeys zero 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 duff very close game yeah, it's it's a, bit, it's a bit tied up at the moment as we've got just a free kick here in the back there a little joey all right, so there we saw on the Mood Food replay. Yeah, we've got the sponsors out today, haven't we? Oh, we certainly have. As, uh, just past that uh, sandwich over there, courtesy of Subway Duff. We'll have those at half time. We'll just leave those to the side. And we thank you. Thank uh, Russell Timza very much for that. As going back, showing uh, great courage. There was this uh, young fella. Let's have a look at this again. That was nearly going to be a goal there, Andrew. And look at that. Just cut off at the right time. There's your right courage. Footy. I think that might have been turvy. It was indeed. What about that, Duff? Uh, yeah. He had no idea what was coming the other way. Uh, one of those big uh, log Mack trucks could have been coming for Hall. He knew. And he just went straight for the ball. Just great player, wasn't it? Kept his eye on the ball. So Clarence, Joey's going back into attack here, Andrew. They certainly are. The numbers, though, are with Tribunner. As there is that young man again, uh, Turvey. I like the cut of his jib as he certainly goes in nice and hard. Umpire Bluey's decided that there has to be a free kick and the reward will certainly go to Turvey. Turvey, very influential so far. Shimmies to go one way, then decides to go. The big barrel straight down the middle goes towards Johnson who can't bring it down. But there at the bottom of the pack is Lumley, who's been very, very influential in the early stages of this game. Getting a handball out, but uh, there he is again, Johnson. He's been pinned. I think he might have uh, he might have been without the ball. Yep, he's out, holding, mate. wasn't it, Duff? Yep. Big L Lumley's got it again. Gee, Lumley, he's just uh, really picking up plenty of possessions, getting it out towards Whitehead. Does Whitehead got a, a knock early, Duff, and got that band around the noggin? No, no, it's just for the look. Oh, the way they started. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like the Matthew Cruiser of the Blues. It seems like as soon as he gets on the ground, he gets a knock to the bonce, <laughs> and he's got the strapping on. And I thought uh, young Billy Whitehead, it might have just, uh, for safety precautions, uh, might have been doing a bit of boxing in the pre-warm-up, Duff, and just got one across the brow. No, 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 it's part of the look, Andrew. Oh, I see. Part yeah, of the look. Yep, yep. Okay, I've got to keep up the times as it gone towards that wing, end over end. Look at the pace uh, shown by uh, Lumley, and it has gone out uh, before being touched, and I think umpire Bluey says that's got to be a try a kick because uh, it was kicked out by your Joey's Duff. Yeah, I think a little Hitchcock there on the outer wing there for Tribunner, just driving the back. But gee, I tell you what, he's going to be hard to get past as Kobe Johnson is. Oh, no, it's going to be Tribunner. Certainly they, was. Can they get the first goal of the match? Yeah, that was your pressure by your Billy Whitehead, really working hard. And there is your Lumley going back to take it. And a lovely mark by Cameron Deep. Yeah, that was very good mark. Going back with the flight, kept his eye on it. But uh, he's turned it over here. Certainly has, as uh, Maxie Schultz uh, trying to pick that up. Have a look at Schultz, really battling hard. He's a ripper, this young lad. Tries to push it out. Oh, those Schultz might have been shot, Duff. What's happened? <laughs> he's still on the ground. He's just getting up here. Oh, just uh, look at that. What a recovery of Schultz. There's your courage, Duff. 
I thought he was down and out for the count, but up he came. Well, somebody said, here comes the ball, and yeah. he went, oh, OK, I might get a kick. Yeah, amazing what happens there as uh, Johnson just applies the pressure with a big, long, raking kick. Uh, goes as far as Turvey. He can't uh, quite bring it in. Ably assisted by Pike. They've got the numbers there, and uh, it is your Joeys who pick it up now. Can they get the handle on it? They can. They're coming back inside. Oh, that's great vision. Structures that one up and goes towards the goal, but through for the minor score. And, uh, well, look at this. Let's have a look on your mood food replay. I love it, Duff, when you have your younger kiddies open up your eyes, look across laterally, and find your hand pass. Yeah, no, that was great running play there, just like in the AFL there, Andrew. They obviously uh, trained for that, and they've brought it out under the park today. I certainly have, as Pickett pushes that one forward. Look at this, two big superstars head-to-head, -head and they don't shirk an issue. This is quality under nine footy. There's another shot on goal, and there's been, I think, another injury there, Duff. Somebody's down, are they? Yeah, not, not moving uh, particularly well. No, of is that young Archie Pike? I just, no, oh, no, it's Clarence. I think uh, might be Whiteman, is it? Or Zegsvelt? I just, <coughs> excuse me, Duff. I, I'll get a person on that. They're up on their feet. Yeah, just getting uh, great, great work by a teammate guy. Who just uh, comes in and says, I reckon you can uh, get up, give him a bit of a pat on the head and talk. Look at that toughness there, Duff. Going for the ball, and it was uh, Liam. Whiteman, who came off second best, so we'll keep our eye on that, as uh, Joel Pickett, who's oh. been devastatingly quick across half-back. He's very, very fleet of foot, and he's got very quick hands, Andrew. This game's been played at a frenetic pace at the moment. We haven't got a goal on the board, but it's still very entertaining. So uh, that was Zeb Hitchcock just a few moments ago, but the ball is going to come back now to Lumley. So there's... Uh, a you got your you got your family connections in here, Duff, mm. and, I, and sometimes you'll hear the old Lumley, and uh, and you'll look back and you'll say that's not Lumley because that was the other. But there's, you got your couple of Lumleys, you got your three Hitchcocks. Hitchcocks, oh, you got your I think you have got your Whitakers, your Pikes, multiple multiple numbers. So obviously, um, uh, families when they decide to to uh, have their brood up here, Duff, they get stuck in early. <laughs> they do. Get them out in clusters. <laughs> yes, and we've got the young uh, the Whitemans. Uh, brothers up there for the uh, Clarence Joeys. And, of course, in the goals today is, uh, is, is young Russell Timzar, Mr Subway. So he's uh, assisting out the boundary as well, like, like all good All good volunteers do. and parents. That's what you want to see. Get out of your car, step up. G'day, super coach. How can I help? That's what they want to hear, Duff, don't yeah. they? And it's just so rewarding. It is. Um, when you get Look at these young kiddies running around. They've got a smile from one side of their face to the other, and that's what you want to see as Zebby Hitchcock goes in, and that's a nice-looking pass. Just pulled it back a little bit just to see if he could find uh, one of his teammates going forward. As Trevor Lumley comes over the top. That might have been the siren, though, Duff. I think it is. It is quarter time. Quarter time already. <laughs> Here at the uh, Phil Giffard Oval, the breeze is certainly dropped out it's absolutely splendid and the the amount of boats that we saw Duff coming up uh, just just have a look back over there Duff look at those boats lining up to get over to Mariah uh, Mariah Island it's just looks fantastic up here doesn't it oh it's an absolute picture postcard like you said Andrew so Joel Pickett has taken a nice mark Duff and he's going back and uh, here he goes raking long kick right down to the uh, full forward area front and centre as uh, all good forwards be might have been uh, held without the onion. Let's have a look. And it's going to go to Liam Whiteman. He's going to line up here. Fair way out. Beyond, beyond his distance, Duff, wouldn't it? I Tell you what, he's so. made a good fist of it, though. Big, long. Why not get it uh, into Johnson if you can? Johnson's picked it up. Goes towards um, Pickett. Pickett is ably assisted by Whiteman again. He's going to shimmy. Turn. Goes over the top. It's touched. And uh, dribbles through for another minor score. So there we go. Four behinds to Clarence uh, Tribun to get the score. Of course, Andrew, just on the scores. Now, we don't usually score at this age group. I think it's under 12s they start scoring. But for the sake of the video, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Just oh, well, was up. I, I would have thought so. Yes, yes. We've... we've uh, Seeking the approval from the STJFL, and I've got a good authority. We've got the approval by the uh, vice president. He's uh, given the thumbs up, Duff. Oh, I can see him just over there with he, the thumbs up. He's a nice guy. Absolute cracker of a fella. So, 
back onto this game. It is under nine football. Triabunna versus your Clarence Joeys. And we hope you're enjoying the coverage as much as we are enjoying bringing it to you. That was Jacob Skeggs who tried to barge his way through. Sebastian Lynch goes back further. Umpire Bluey says, I think you, uh, <coughs> excuse me, tried to throw that one out. And indeed, it's going to go a free kick back to uh, Tribuna and I think that uh, might be Turvey who, who plays really nicely down back but a uh, nice kick out towards Zoe Hitchcock she tries to uh, go for the ball and like quite rightly like you said Duff very smart uh, young lady she's decided to keep those knees warm uh, bring them right over the top and that's what got me and threw me when I thought have a look at the length of those legs well, it's very they go right up to her ears very fashionable oh not knocking the day Duff when you have them down around your ankles like you used to wear them like oh, that yeah like John Clue. Yeah, Johnny Kluger, you, you had the Klugs about you <laughs> when you used to play for a rain grammar. <laughs> How do you spell that? <coughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, as that ball now is in the very safe hands of Harry Thomas. Thomas, just sizing up some of his options. I tell you what, he's uh, nearly kicked the leather off that one, but it's gone a little bit too wide. So the free kick will come back and it might be uh, Ike Turvey who's going to take that one or they're going to share it around and it's going to go to Zoe Hitchcock. Hitchcock just getting last minute advice. Well, there's a couple of great companies there Duff, uh, Mood Food and your Bennett's Petroleum. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're great, just everywhere, aren't they? Some great Tasmanian companies supporting Aussie rules up here. We've got Rain and Horn in the background as well. Of course, uh, Subway, IGA and Red Bank supporting uh, both teams today. Oh, fantastic work by those. And we thank them very much for their support as your Joey's pick it up. And oh, he's very fast. fleet of foot is uh, Pickett. But uh, he's, he's chewed a little bit too much off on that one at particular occasion when... Uh, Ikey Turvey comes around. This Turvey is one of the most more determined under nines you'll ever want to see. Have a look at that, Duff. He'd be fantastic on a farm, wouldn't he? Chasing your chicken around. When he, <laughs> he just reminds, look at the way there. He wouldn't let him out. He corralled him beautifully. He was very clever and got it down further to Kobe Johnson. Johnson now, we oh know boy. he's long of kick. Raking long kick. It's down towards the square. There fantastic mark by Liam Whiteman and has slotted it through for the first goal of the day. Off. Yeah, well, it was only a nice work of... by Liam Whiteman. Yeah, good play, but it was Big Johnson taking the power mark, wasn't it? And he looked up <coughs> and he thought to himself, I'm a chance here, but he saw his teammate up in the goal square. That's great vision, Andrew. Oh, yes, and uh, Liam Whiteman just a not as close at uh, uh, checking as normal by your tribuna because that's the thing that they pride themselves on up here, Duff, is that close checking nature of the way they play their footy and just got away on that particular occasion. I think they went into offensive mode a little bit early. They thought they might have uh, grabbed the ball and they ran off their player, but uh, they'll learn from those experiences, Duff. Oh, yeah. So now umpire Bluey. Some of these boys and girls only been playing a couple of years. They're only seven and eight years of age, you know. Well, I was going to say, Duff, they couldn't have been playing for much more. They would have been in the womb. And the quality of football is oh. fantastic. It is tremendous. Uh, we've got to get an AFL team in Tasmania, don't we, Duff? Oh, so these nice. kiddies can have your pathway to the top level. Wouldn't that be fantastic to see oh. AFL played here at the Phil Gifford Oval in Triabunna? That's what you want to see, Duff. Take it around the state, that's what you're saying? Absolutely. So one week, you know, you could have Hawthorne playing up here. Well, why wouldn't play, you? Hang on, then they play away. Yep. They come back, they play Carlton up at Swansea. Well, that'd be perfect. fantastic. Could you imagine? It's making the whole state inclusive. Yes. That's what Mr Hodgman wants. Yeah, get him on the ferry, get him over at Mariah Island. Why not do that, Duff? Get him around the state. Uh, the, I, re I reckon your AFL, would, they'd enjoy it, they'd like it. Something different. Something different. Now, we've got a free kick here. And, it, and what you've got to do, Duff, is have these kiddies on before it, right before they play. Hey. Not two hours or three hours before. So, Kobe Johnson, who has uh, been a colossus so far, has gone back. I think it's gone a little bit to the right. Let's have a look. Just wait for the umpire. He's keeping it to himself, Duff. <laughs> One behind. Doesn't give much away that umpire. So one six twelve, seven scoring shots. Uh, they've been let off the hook here a little bit, the Chibana. Oh, Roos. they've been good in general play, haven't they, Duff? Well, they've been battling away very well, Chibana, but just haven't been able to get it down to the forward zone. Here's a nice lead, though, and a lovely pass. Gee, that was a very nice kick, but intercepted by your Joeys as they go forward again. Johnson tries to go up. Front and centre is Pickett. Pickett, who's a very smart footballer, very fast, gets the handball further afield out towards Smith. Aiden Smith 
always a team player trying to find somewhere else. But to have a look at this stuff, as that's a lovely tackle by uh, Mitchell Scott. And I think Scott's decided to play on. Look at this. Here it is on your mood food. Oh, yes. Uh, just collared poor old Joel Pickett then. A little bit quicker on the pace there, Duff, that time. Oh, and they're getting, getting their running game going here, Tribana. The old one, two, and they're away. Look at this. Skeggs. Oh, look at that. That's the way to get your stats up, Duff. Get your handball, kick it to yourself and go again. Well played, Skeggsy. Gets it out to Alomes. Alomes drives that ball. Oh, it's a chance to go through. Oh, just saved on the line there by Jackson Guy. Oh, that was play of the day there for Tribana. They just finally found a little bit of spark in their game in this second quarter as they try and get that first goal on the And board. it was almost like the whole town held its collective breath, Duff. Oh, no. You can see right behind us. Just look down there, the mums and the dads and the grandparents. There's got to be two or 3,000 people just behind us up uh, here at Phil Giffard Oval. I think you might have added the zero there, Andrew, but uh, no, they've got a bit of spark here in the second quarter. Here we go. They certainly have, and that's uh, Harvey Olimes goes towards the goal, and it's just gone over out of the desperate uh, clutches of uh, Zebby Hitchcock and through for the minor score. But Tribuna up and about now, Doug. Well, the runner was sent out about two minutes ago by Marcus Scott, and the message was, come on, somebody, give me some spark. And it happened with big skeggs coming out of the half-back line, and they're back in this match here, the Roos. They certainly are. That's a magnificent kick there by uh, Timza, but here they come again. You try a bunner, it's uh, just off the side. That was Harvey Alomes, uh, and has put it through just to that side. Going for that extra distance there, Duff. Yeah, Accuracy just, not quite there. He just sprayed that one. Probably didn't quite need to quite kick it as hard. But it's easier up here in the commentary box. There's a lot of pressure out there, Andrew. Oh, well, this is a big game, Duff. Uh, and it's the only interesting thing I would think of is given the big trek it was to get here, Duff, will that play hard on your Joey legs? Will they get a bit heavier towards the end of the game? That's a very good point. It has been a very big road trip here for the Clarence Roos as they But that's what they stopped at Red Banks and freshened up. They did. They did. They just took their time. It's a very long road trip. So that's Jolie Pickett. Picks up. Lost it on that particular occasion. Going back out to get it. That was uh, Henry Will Willis a few minutes ago for the Roos. Now there's an opportunity. Lovely. Look at the teamwork uh, going very nicely. That was Pike. Pike, I think, gets it out towards uh, Hitchcock. I think that was uh, Emma. Nice handball over the top, looking for Mitchell Scott. Can't pick it up. And here they go again. Oh, There's Kobe Johnson. Johnson. We know he's... Oh, he's been mowed down. What about that play by Mitchell Scott? As we have a look on the Mood Food replay, takes the bounce, about to kick and chase. And I tell you what, Duff, <laughs> if there's one thing your coaches love, they love your chase down like that. Never give in attitude. Excellent work. And so Ike uh, Turvey takes the free. Pushes out towards Hitchcock. Zoe uh, Hitchcock was tackled. Got a little bit too high. Umpire Bluey says. And now it will be a kick for Tribunner. Tribunner, nice uh, drop punt out towards Percy. The thing that I've noticed, Duff, uh, really sharing the ball around. Yeah, no, it's been a very good team play. Oh, there's a nice tackle. And the umpire said, you had it long enough, son. So, uh, yeah, he's disappointed with that one. No, they've been teaming up very well. And uh, still only two behinds on the board, but I can smell a goal coming. Well, if anyone can uh, smell a goal, Duff, that's you. You've had plenty of experience at the, uh, on the hooter, as that's Skeggs at the bottom of the pack just holding that in. And uh, it's going to be another ball up. Terrific quality of game here, Duff. Well, it all starts with the Oz kick, and they've got a very, very good Oz kick program up here. We actually captured the Oz kick before this match, and there was a young couple out there with the kids, and I've got to say, in all honesty, Hoppy, it was fantastic. They played about a 30, 40 minute game, and um, just educating the young ones on how to play, and no doubt they've been doing that for a few years. Hats off to those people. Yes, and I know uh, that uh, the Lauderdale Football Club comes up to the community quite a bit, Duff, and they get into the Orford School and your Tribunner School. Um, I know that for a fact that last year the old Silver Fox was up here doing a few clinics, and it's great to see the kiddies out on the ovals having a kick around because it's a very strong football community. 
up here on the East Coast. Yep, they've got their new change rooms in the background. It's all looking very splendid up here at the Phil Giffard Oval. So that was Calvin New who got that kick away. Goes out towards the wing position. Ike Turvey was there trying to back that one up. I've liked the game of Turvey. You know, he goes all right as uh, Lee Percy was the last one to touch that. So the free kick's going to go to your Clarence Joeys who they come back in further. Willis couldn't quite pick that one up, but he was in good position. Now gets the handball out to one of the teammates. Excellent work by Zvelt. Zvelt goes further afield, and Johnson. here he is, uh, Johnson. Oh, Johnson's going to go the pass, I think, Duff. But the siren has uh, beaten him to it, and it is half time here at the big clash. Tribunner under nines versus the Clarence Joeys. It is. Your Clarence, what do we got there, Duff? Are they one goal, six, 12? One, six, 12. To uh, your try bunner. What are they there, Duff? Uh, two behinds there at the moment, Andrew. So, Duff, we're going to take a break here, are we? We'll take a break. All right, I think it's time for a subway and a latte, and we'll be back shortly with the uh, second half. So there is the uh, third quarter siren to get us underway. Very close encounter. Clarence have uh, just got the score on the board, winning by 10 points at this stage, but uh, very, very even across the board. And in fact, I think uh, you and I were talking at halftime there, Duff. Uh, the ball actually percentage-wise has been in your tribe on a forward line a little bit more. Yeah, 51 to 49. Uh, it's been an interesting match, but they yeah, just haven't been able to get the score on the board. But they're battling away very well against this powerhouse from the uh, suburbia of Hobart. And the other thing that you uh, brought out, Duff, was the amount of tackling and the quality of the tackling oh, in I that love, first I half. Love, I love the tackling. It's a great part of the Aussie rules game, Andrew. OK, so Zoe Hitchcock is there. She handballs over to Zeb Hitchcock. You don't think there that uh, that was uh, ordained from last night's around the tea table, Duff. I'll give you one if you give me one. As that ball has gone through for a goal. I think we're going to have a look, are we, Duff? No, no, that's a behind. Oh, it's just a minor score? Yeah. OK, sorry about that. I saw a goal umpire Tim's uh, getting both flags on the ready there, Duff, I, but he was just shaking them out uh, in ready for the one flag to be uh, given away. So now Skeggs. He provided some spark in that last quarter. He's that oh. sort of player. And look, he, he does it again. He's, he's full of energy. Oh, he's got energy and footy smarts as well, yes. Duff. Got a nice drop punt on him, but he's just turned it over here and the Roo's looking dangerous. Oh, they are. And uh, going back there was Lumley, assisted by Skeggs. Gives the Duff, don't argue. Pushes further afield, out towards the wing position. If you're wondering, uh, you can see one or two adults running around on the ground there, Duff. Uh, just for the, the viewers out there, that's, that's your super coaches. And, and we love that, don't we? Because they're out there... Uh, in encouraging, engaging with the kids and telling yeah. them what they're doing right and how they might can improve. And, and it's wonderful, isn't it? I think, I think no. it's a good thing by the STJFL. No, there's, there's a lot to learn in the game of Aussie rules. It's a bit different to the round ball where oh, the you just, just goes kick it along up forward. It's, it's simple. You know, but not, not these kiddies. It, you've got to work it out. You've got to work your angles out the, the way the oval ball might bounce. And uh, that one's gone further. It's close to the line. Have a look here, Duff. Yeah. There's got plenty of try bunner, but it might have been out just a little bit further up. Yeah, it's just going to be out there. So the umpire probably throw this one up, I think. Umpire Bluey's just calling for this one back. He says, I'll have it just over here. Great to see the volunteers out and about today, Duff, and here is one of them. You've got your umpire, Bluey. Yeah, and we've got somebody doing the score in the background in the club rooms there, just a young fella. Got the new netball courts over the back. That's very smart. Oh, that, we that's... need netball and Aussie rules coming together in this state, Hoppy, as the Clarence Roo is going to try and clear here. Dangerous across goal, but good vision because they saw Tim Zar coming up, and you know that uh, Tim Zar is a quality player, gave a very, very nice lead. It's out towards the half-forward flank for Tri Bunner. Trying to push their way through is uh, Dylan Whittaker. Very strong play, but not going through, and uh, it's going to be another ball up. Very close uh, to the Tri Bunner goal. Here goes uh, young Lily Pike in the ruck here for the Tri Bunner Roos. 
Now, you, you and I were talking on the way up, Duff, uh, when we saw the sheets come through last night and we were, we were studying the form. Is it Lavinia Pike, I think it was, who played for Tasmania for the girls in the cricket? I think you could be right there. So I'm not sure if there's any relation, because I know she's an East Coast girl, as the ball is picked up by the Ruse. Lovely the way they swept on. Oh, that's a oh, strong no. mark taken by Harvey Alomes. He really came from nowhere. Kicks it long towards that danger area. Danger because uh, Johnson's going back. He picks it up. Tries to get the handball out. Nice tackle there, though, by the Ruse. Picked over by uh, Whitaker. Oh, that one just bounced the other way. And I think got one in the old hooter duff. But look at the recovery by Yatria Bunner. And it's Kick through it. for a goal. Well done there by uh, Billy Whitehead. But uh, poor old Maxie Schultz, I think, is still... Hope I haven't got the claret coming out of the hooter there, Duff. We're going to have a look on the mood food replay. We can see what happened to poor old Maxie. Here comes the ball. Boing! Oh, dear, oh, dear. That, that might have hurt. But have a look. What courage by Max to go back in and, and apply the shepherd, which uh, enabled Billy Whitehead to get the go. So, well done, Max. Well done, Billy. Hats off, Tri Banner. You're up and about. And how's the goal umpire? Look, hands in pocket. Oh, here it comes. And look at this. Ready? All clear. <laughs> Just a shy little two-finger one, Duff, and then go and get the ball. Ah, uh, you got to love it, don't you, with the volunteers and all the people that assist an Aussie rules game to go ahead, Andrew. That's really tightened the right. game up, Duff. We don't mean to take the mickey, but uh, it's a bit oh. of fun in here in the commentary box, isn't it? Yes. Oh, no, we absolutely we uh, love it up here in the tower looking down on the ground and we've got the best view in the house at any football ground I would have thought Duff from our vantage point where we are just looking across the east coast of Tasmania. Well they've worked hard for that goal. Oh didn't they? Great team goal there by Tribana. Right back in this match now. Yes and that's uh, Will Timms up. Very skillful player. Gets it down towards the centre of the ground. Working their way forward. That's uh, Whiteman. Only goes as far as Skeggs. And we know that Skeggs uh, just arches the back, showing uh, great pace. But I think that might be Whiteman again. Gee whiz, dominant player, Duff. Mm, no, he gets a lot of the ball, beautiful skills. But, geez, I love the game of Skeggs. Oh, yes, as uh, Willis. Young Henry. Oh, Henry. oh, look at that. He's kicked it out of nowhere, Duff. Goodness gracious, that one took us by surprise. We'll have to have a look at that on the Mood Food replay. Uh, as we see here, the ball came in towards the centre of the ground, picking that one up. That was very nice by Henry Willis. I, I love the way he arched his back duff and set a course directly at the goals. Yeah, no. And himself, put that one through. Backed himself beautifully. And a great answering goal there by the Ruse. That, that's your quality team, isn't it, Duff? Yeah. I mean, if you get a goal kicked against you, uh, as if you can show the backbone to get one back quickly, and that's what your Joeys have just done. But uh, don't you count your try a bunner out, Duff. Uh, they're the ones who will really try and fight back again as Zegfeld picks that one up, tries to go the bounce. Under plenty of pressure there was uh, Pike. But uh, good tackling here by Tri Bunner. Handball out. Great umpiring. Just giving the kiddies plenty of opportunity to get rid of the onion there, Duff. Yeah, well, we want to see the play sort of move on, and otherwise they'd be balling it up all day. But he's done well, this umpire, and the game's slowed around beautifully. And Certainly Clarence, have. Clarence with that answering goal. Can they get two in a row? So Cameron Deep drives it towards the oh, full forward lovely. area. And uh, look at that great mark and lead by Henry Willis. Uh, the nostrils are flared because he's got a goal, and he knows where they are, Duff. So he go oh, goes back and didn't quite make the distance. It was a fair way out, though, Duff. Yeah, it was a long, long way On out. his measure out, about 11 metres. Yeah, against the breeze, too, Andrew. Oh. Great defending there by Tribe, aren't it? Breeze, I, I put it to you, that's a gale. As Cameron Deep goes round, and Deep has slotted that one through, Duff. Yeah. Right position at the right time, then, by Cameron Deep. Here it is. Here's that kick on goal again. Yeah, just got it on the toe. Great yes. Defending, wasn't accurate, though, Duff. Very Great. accurate. And that's the third goal to your Clarence Joey's Duff. You've got goals to Whiteman, Deep and uh, Willis. And, of course, Tri Bunner just a few moments ago with the goal through the agency of Billy Whitehead. So with eight minutes gone, it is your Clarence Duff. They're on 25 and your Tri Bunner on eight. And, of course, uh, that has given them a little bit of breathing space. Now it's in that forward pocket. 
Picking it up now is Yatraya Bana, but it's kicked into the man on the mark and a good smother, and it will be a ball up. So uh, eight and a half minutes gone. Beautiful day up here at uh, Tri Bunner. Sun's out, good crowd. And uh, the kiddies seem to be running around and having an absolute ball. Keeping that one under. Tri Bunner, pick it up. Not really going anywhere on that particular occasion. As we can see, trying to get that handball out. They can't do so. That's Percy. Percy now goes forward again and a lovely mark there by Harvey Alomes, pr proving to be a very nice target uh, when he comes forward. And I like the way he pushes the chest out and there was courage shown by uh, Lumley. He'll go again, well shepherded, excellent work by Edwards. Katie Edwards gets it out to uh, Ikey Turvey. They're really starting to team up nicely, but it is Clarence who just uh, steady the ship as they go forward with uh, nine and a half minutes gone. Here come your Joeys going back inside. Lovely vision and uh, ends up with Henry Willis. Henry Willis gets a handball. Gee whiz, I think that might be uh, Hamish who's uh, swapped over, I'm not quite sure, and then put it through for a goal, Duff. Oh, we might have to have another look at that one. I'm not really quite sure who has got that goal. Uh, I think it might be... No, I'm not going to have to hazard a guess. I think we'll pick that player up in the next quarter. How would you be playing for the opposition and you kick a goal, Andrew? Oh, that's rubbing insult into the wounds, isn't it, Duff? I tell you what, he's very skillful, though. Look at this. Take a Great bounce. Boys. Come inside. Little dummy there. Under pressure, running goal from about 40 out. Beautiful. So does that goal get recorded to try a bunner, Duff? Is it to try a bunner player? Or does it go to your joeys? <laughs> I'm not quite too sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares, Duff, because it's just great, isn't it, to see it the is. kiddies running around. It, it really, is. really is. Gee, that's a fantastic uh, hit out in the ruck there by Hitchcock. She really gained valuable meterage for the Triabunna team as Johnson tries to pick that one up, screws it over the shoulder, and he goes as far as Turvey. Turvey is uh, he's had, had a big terrific game. game. Yeah, I like him. He's, you know, some players really <laughs> stick out, just like this little fella too, Billy Whitehead, yep. instrumental for uh, Triabunna today. Look at that forward pressure by Whitehead, keeping the ball in there. Look at this, up against the bigger boys here, Andrew. He's only got six defenders in front of him, Duff. You know, and he's decided, I'm going to take them all on. <laughs> Couldn't quite get through um, and has been held up in that tackle. So nicely played by the Roos as Joel Pickett takes a strong mark. Pickett now, end over end uh, on that wing. Working further afield is Harvey Alomes, who's a very long penetrating kick. It comes back over towards Tribuna. Here they go, Duff. Here's an opportunity. Go on to the left. Go back onto the right. Zebby Hitchcock. I need a little rooster. I'd uh, put it to you, Duff. Uh, mm. He could be playing in the under-7s, but here he is Probably. in the under-9s. He's playing up today just to bolster the numbers, and that's what we'd like to see as Johnson just uh, puts that one on the boot to get some clearance as Whitehead now picks up. Whitehead goes the short pass. Oh, oh lovely vision to Lily Pike, yeah, and Lily Pike has been paid the mark, and quite right too. As the siren's gone, a bit of pressure now, Duff. Here goes Pike. Pike kicks oh. it. Oh, got good Bad luck. distance stuff, didn't she? But uh, not quite the accuracy. And uh, as we're going to have a look here on the replay. Great vision, wasn't it? Look at the pass. And, oh, yeah, got to pay that mark every day of the week, Duff. It just stuck to the fingers. And uh, she nearly put that one through. But just have a look at the drop here, Duff. Just squaring a... Oh, the umpire, goal umpire is just sort of saying, I think here's where we want it. And just off the side of the old boot and uh, didn't quite make a score. But very entertaining and a good comeback there by Tri Bunaduff. Yeah, great quarter of footy there, Andrew. And we're away in the last quarter already. Siren has gone uh, in what's been a crackerjack game of football. Well, if this is under nine stuff, I tell you what, how good is footy going to be? Oh, yeah. Gee whiz, it's been a cracker of a game. Oh, yeah. I think, is that Big Skeggsy? No, I, a... that might have been, is it Harvey alone? I, I think it could be. They look similar, they're very strong players. Yes. I think that's young Harvey gone over and playing with the ruse. I think so, as uh, Liam Whiteman picks it up for, yep, your joeys. It's Ike uh, Turvey, though, goes back. Didn't quite bring that one in, just got away from him the last minute. 
That's Tom Whiteman trying to push their way forward. And uh, might have been held a little bit too high there, Duff. And I like to see the umpire reward a kitty going for the ball. Clarence just driving the ball down. But, oh, cut off there by, I think it's young Hitchcock. Just with those long socks, Hoppy. Yeah, Hitchcock comes out towards the wing. But uh, oh, Johnson, Johnson just floating across the front of the pack, Duff. And you're not going to get around uh, the big strong man when he gets in that front position. Doesn't he use the ball very well? Absolutely. As uh, Jackson Guy now goes the short pass, always trying to bring someone in. Selfless player. Yeah. Tommy Whiteman couldn't quite uh, get that one, as Turvey does. And Turvey just tries to get some valuable meterage. Pressure being applied now by your try bunner. And I think that might have been... Uh, Mitchell Scott, and of course Mitchell Scott there, Duff, yep. was the young kitty who crossed over and got the goal for Clarence. Ah, yes. He's got that lovely haircut, hasn't he? And he's going up in the ruck here, I think, Andrew. Yeah, no. It, one, one of your more clean-cut players, Duff. Yep, yep. Yeah. Like Look at that. Remember Silvani from, um, from Carlton? Yeah, no. And moves well too, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah, we, uh, Very Mitchell, slippery. Reminds me of uh, young Sammy Walsh, the... Uh, Gun new player for Carlton as well, and I'm a bit Carlton orientated, but very silky over the ground, and that's the way oh. young Mitchell Scott moves. You go for the Blues, don't you? Just a little bit, Duff. I think uh, Brendan Bolton's just been sacked, hasn't he? About now, yeah. Has he done? Yes. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. he did. Mm. Yes, but I'm sure they'll come good after that. Very unfortunate. Uh, as a Tasmanian uh, lost the job there, but it was maybe one of these kiddies can go, go and take the spot, Duff. We'll see ben, Brendan Bolton back coaching very soon. Don't you worry about that. As the ruse are away, going forward here. Oh, well played by Tim's up. Gets to the front and centre by Tommy Whiteman, and Tommy Whiteman has put it through for a goal, and this is what I like to see, Duff, too. All your teammates come and say, well done, uh, top shelf, uh, keep the good work up. Uh, goals sometimes are hard to come by, so why don't you celebrate them, enjoy them? Embrace yeah. them, I say. It's a very exciting moment when you do get one, isn't it? Do you remember that feeling? It's yeah. a real rush. You can feel the blood go through the veins. You certainly can, and uh, Maxi Schultz did a really good job there to try and put the spoil on Duff, but uh, Clarence were good enough to bring the ball front and centre, and yet it's obvious that uh, Super Coach Scott has been practicing that front and centre because they've been well drilled on that. Every time the ball's come down, you can see your forward. Uh, it's a set play, Duff, from the your Joeys. They've actually tried to tap the ball down the front and all your runners have come round and uh, that's that's probably where they've got some of their goals, I would have thought, Duff. Yep, no, I think you're, you're quite right there. They practice that at training. Now, Tribana definitely deserve another goal and they're going forward here. Beautiful handball over the top. Yes, that was uh, Lumley giving it out to Pike. And uh, it is Lumley again has taken that one very close on the mark, and that's why the ball has gone straight up and down as Skeggs. Big Skeggsy. What's happened here, Duff? Umpire Bluey's seen something behind play. I've oh, been an injury. <laughs> yeah, a bit of an down. injury. Look out. I think they're back up again now, Duff. Yep, just yeah, a bit of a stretch. Brush it off. Yeah, Dylan, Dylan Whitaker, I, I, knew, I know you were whispering to me about the toughness of young Dylan how he went down, but uh, it was great to see him get back up. Yep. Well, you can see here, Duff, it's been a long game. You can, look, it's, it's playing on some of these kiddies. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to reset here, Andrew. Okay. So there is uh, Lumley, but it's uh, Al Holmes who's taken it out of the mail. Look at him, he says, I'm going to show you, kiddies, I'm the best player for try bunner. I'm going to go around you. He says, not today, says umpire Bluey. Umpire said he had it too long. What do you think about that decision? Is Quite that, right, Duff. Is that the first blue by Bluey? Oh, no, I, I, I think that's fair enough. And he's trying to teach, teach these young kiddies a, a lesson or two. Young Harvey Al Holmes is a ripper player, Duff. He is. But he's just trying to say to him, Listen, son, if you can get the handball off or whatever. I think right. he was just trying to do a little bit too much against his teammates, well, Duff. Maybe, maybe he was right in front of the camera and he saw the camera and he thought to himself, uh, Duff's over there, we're just going like, we'll uh, to that. give myself a bit of screen time. I tell you what, this young lady's had a very good match here. This is yes. Zoe, isn't it? Zoe and Emma, that they've, they've, haven't they been good, Duff? They have. Socks right up, looking splendid. Oh, she's kicked that one on the toe and she's just turned it over. And uh, it's going to be young Harvey with the ball. So now, going further out, that's a good mark there, Duff. Strong work by Cameron Deep. 
Uh, sometimes you don't see the, the kiddies taking your, your strong overhead marks because it, it, you know, their hands haven't developed that uh, that much, and uh, it is quite a big ball, and it comes comes at a, a fair bit of uh, velocity. So it, it's good to see when a kiddie takes one of those ones out and just plucks it and dukes it up. So umpire Bluey, he's just going to have another one as. It's been, it's been like a, uh, a festival atmosphere today, Duff, it hasn't has. it? Well, yeah. Gee, we've had a cracker of a day up here. No, a beautiful day. It's, I mean, it's cool, but it, the sun's out. A uh, bit of a breeze, but just beautiful part of the world. I've enjoyed it so much, Duff. I might uh, I might stay the night and maybe go back via Red Banks. Oh. I, I think there's a chance you and I might go back there and stay. Go, beautiful go and accommodation. Say, go and say good day to Lindsay. Yeah, go and say good day to, to Lindsay and we'll... We'll stop off at Orford and get a few groceries on the way through, Duff, and uh, while we're eating our subway on the way to, to Red Banks, I think I that's love, the only way to travel. I love those subways, don't you worry oh. about that. It's Clarence building beautifully here via Timza, and we've got a mark. Yep. No, it's going to, going to try, Bunner, the yep. little fella. Billy Whitehead, goal scorer. Oh, lovely kick. Look at that. Uh, great lead by Pike. She couldn't uh, take it in the first instant, but uh, she's got determination, tenacity to go back in and get the get the footy again. Well backed up, and that's Liam Whiteman gets the handball out. Going to be have to be a good one to get round Mitchell Scott uh, with his silky skills. Lumley picking it up, arching the back, gets the handball out towards Skegg. Skegg says, I'm coming through, but Al Holmes is really doing his best to stymie that particular attack there, Duff. And I really am impressed by the, each of the kiddies that have gone across from Tribuna have almost tried harder against their teammates, haven't they? Which has been it's, really good. It's funny that that happens sometimes, but no, it's always good to see the, the boys and girls going across and evening up the numbers. But I tell you what, one of the players that Clarence I've been impressed with, and that's big Kobe Johnson. What a great game he's had, Andrew. Yep, no, very good indeed. Uh, stands out, Duff, with that uh, blonde locks. The big frame. Yeah, yes. The ruck. Al Holmes goes round, uh, puts it he's on that right boot. Pretty fancy, Al Holmes, isn't he? You yeah, know, goes nicely. Well picked up by Joel Pickett. Pickett further afield to Liam Whiteman. And uh, Whiteman is going to go back and take that kick. Whiteman, uh, scything, long, hard, raking kick. Can't take it, Guy, but he's good enough to butter up. Big chance here if they can get the handle on it. Under a bit of pressure here is Tribunner, but uh, and that's because of oh. Will Timzar. And Timzar, I think, has slipped that one through, Duff. Let's have a look at that on the Mood Food replay. She just about the player of the day, wasn't it? <coughs> yeah, it was well picked up as we seeing here. It is uh, Jackson Guy who gets it in. You can see very clever. Timzar picks it up, arches the back, fends with one hand duff, and then just eases that onto the right foot and puts it through for a sausage. Well done, Will Timzar. It's young Dylan Whitaker coming back on the ground here for Tribuna as we start to get into the later stages of this match. But yeah, just about goal of the day for mine, that one by Tim's up. Yeah, build, big uh, build up of the lactic acid here, Duff. <coughs> so not long to go here, about three and a half minutes in this big match, the under nines. Oh, of course, we need, we need to thank our sponsors too, Andrew. Subway, IGA and Red Banks for sponsoring these teams today and getting us up here for the big clash. Absolutely, and it's uh, just been an absolute joy to see so many people come out and enjoy the game as uh, Jackson Guy again goes forward. It's, oh, it's bouncing, but determination by Maxi Schultz, but it's been kept in. <laughs> Have one. a look at that. That's going to be interesting. I think that uh, might be Timzer again, isn't I it, Duff? I think it is. It is. He look snatched that one. Let's have a look at how he got this goal. Oh, but the player coming into it is young Jackson Guy. <coughs> He's just really fleet of foot. Lucky bounce. Oh. <laughs> and, and look at the dad, in the, old dad in the old goal square goes, yep, that's a goal. That is unbelievable bounce. And, and there are, we were talking about your soccer duff. There is your unpredictability of your Aussie rules. That's what we love, isn't it? That was through for a point every day of the week. <laughs> and she's just bounced on its end and come back in. And see, Tim's oh. are, Tim's are reminding me of that big possum I saw on the dark road out in the country road the other day. Big, his eyes lit up. 
as it landed in his lap and he's put it through for a sausage. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's like, happy birthday, Will. <laughs> you see, when his eyes lit up when you were five metres from him at 100 k's an hour. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just swerved and missed him, by the way. Oh, after. <laughs> Absolutely. We've got to go nice and slowly when you get your wildlife on the road stuff, especially the yeah. country roads like when you're travelling up yeah. here to try a bunner. Wasn't it cold on the way up here? I looked down at the dash and it said one degree. Yeah, a little bit cool coming up. Up over Buckland there. Up through, was it Bus McGall? And, Bus McGall. Uh, yeah. Yeah, up over the top. But when we came down into Orford, what about that scenery and that person out in the kayak with the I, mist? I think it was Nick Rewalt. Oh, it, yeah. it looked, it had the Rewalt's about him. He gets up here. Oh, he's just got the shack around the corner here. I know, I think it was Nick. Yeah. So, getting close towards the end of the game, it's been a crackerjack, and I think umpire Bluey has said that uh, Johnson might have just lifted the elbow a, a touch, Duff. Yeah. And he just said, uh, try and keep it down, uh, Kobe, if you can. Oh, oh look, look at that. Well played by Turvey. <laughs> he's rolled over. I reckon if he doesn't go on with the football, Duff, he's certainly going to go into the circus. Yeah, as he he's goes. picked it up and he's going to arch the back and he's, oh, he's gone back over the shoulder again. Uh, Absolute great determination, though, isn't it, Duff? It was. Jeez. Great individual effort there. Oh, I can't. Um, umpire Bluey says, I'll ball it up. I think you're right, Andrew. Watch him here. He goes here. Roll over he goes and, <laughs> and he's, he's rolled over twice. And look at him go here. And here and says, Alley up, I'm bouncing over my head. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic work. And it's getting close towards the goals. And it's not over yet. And uh, defended very, very miserly by your Joeys there, Duff, to keep that one from scoring. Oh, Try a are really trying hard to try yeah. put a bit more of pressure as Kate Edwards was in the centre there. Comes out towards Calvin New. He's done a good job today as well. It's been such a good team effort spread across the field, hasn't it, Duff? Yeah, no, I mean, some great players on both sides. Um, just doesn't feel as though it's 41 points, does oh, it? Oh, no, it's so even. Yeah. So even. Oh, well, Holmes takes... Uh, you've picked the wrong person there, young uh, Harvey, uh, as the siren Harvey. is gone. And it is all over Red Rover here at Phil Giffard Oval, as we're seeing here on the Mood Food replay. He goes on in front of the, the camera. I'm in, fr I'm in front of the camera again. He's been caught out again. Yeah, there. well done, Zoe. Oh, disappointment too, but... What a great game that was, Duff. It was a great game, Andrew. So I was just glancing down, uh, Duff. We had uh, Tim's uh, got a couple of goals for the Joeys. Yeah. Liam Whiteman got one. Cameron Deep, Henry Willis and Tommy Whiteman. And uh, Billy Whitehead for Tribunner. And, of course, Mitchell Scott got the goal for Tribunner playing yeah. for the Joey. So let's give that back to Joe Tribunner, Duff. Yep, no, we'll do that. And here's what we want to see. A game that was enjoyed by all. Good sportsmanship. And uh, the kiddies coming together and thanking everyone for the game. And that's what sport is all about, Duff. Well, what a great little match there, Andrew. Thanks for coming up. Oh, you couldn't have kept me away, Duff. Any opportunity to come up to this beautiful part of the world, I've just had a crackerjack day. Now, I think we might have the uh, team songs coming up here, so we might leave it at that. We'll let you go over to the canteen and refresh yourself before we do the under-11s. OK, and, uh, and we'll go down and have a look at the team songs now, Duff. Oh, great effort there, Andrew. Oh, that's a song they're going to get used to singing, don't you worry. And uh, I think we might have the try Bunner boys and girls coming over. Oh, uh, now this is what should be done every week, Duff. Yeah. Now, Both teams line up on the oval, face the grandstands, and sing your sing your song to your, uh, to all the crowd. I love it. You think Carlton wants to do that every oh, week? Oh, Duff, if they get an opportunity to win, get them up there. Here we go. We are the Well, 
had the, had the Coltons about them, that one, Duff. <laughs> the old Navy boys, but there we go.